why do we all have the name Singh and Kaur attached to us? Um, it's very important because it's like Guruji's name too. It's like we're connected to Guruji. I, as a, as a woman, have different identity. My Guru has blessed me, my Guruji has blessed me with this different identity. I do not need to rely on the patriarchal naming system. Singh and Kaur, it's not just um, a base level name. Uh, there is a huge, huge ideological significance behind it. Um, and it's important that we embrace this name. It's important that we don't trade it out for surnames. Uh, it's important that we don't trade it out for things that provide us with more ego than we should have. From today onwards, no matter what, but we will always keep this name with us, Singh and Kaur. We are because our Guru gave us this identity and that is why we are different. We need to have this, we need to uh, embrace this, we need to love this identity. Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Why Guru Ji Ki Fateh? Kids show de vich Sangha Ji, aap sab da baut baut swagat hai. Jimme asi pichle episode de vich Gurdwara Sahib di discussion ki ti si ki. Aaj ta jada episode asi ek nama agla question leke aap sab de samne hajar hoya. सब तो पहला ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਰੂਬਰੂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਾ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਅੱਜ ਗੈਸਟ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਬਾਬਲੀ ਕੌਰ ਹੈਗੀ ਮੈਂ ਏਜ 8 ਹੈ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ 3 ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਬਰੂਨੋ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੀ ਉਮਰ 10 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਮੇਰਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਬਰਮਿੰਗਮ ਹੈ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਗੁਰਲੀਨ ਕੌਰ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ Nine years old and I'm in grade four. The which part the year. It's very important uh, when we're discussing, obviously, um, this program. Um, our aim has always been to answer our youngsters' questions. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to our gurdwari, um, despite them being centres for um, developing our Sant Supahi character, like we discussed in the previous episode, uh, unfortunately, we are lacking in education. We are uh, lacking in our philo uh, philosophical teaching, and so because of that, our youngsters are. are now um, struggling in schools and colleges and universities to answer questions that they come up with um, so obviously today we'll be talking about a new question uh, we will be discussing a new idea and um, that idea obviously will be explained later on yeah so but, but before uh, we start with this episode as we always do let's uh, let's start discussing with them what they know about Sikhi so do you all know uh, 10 Guru Sahib's name yeah No. Okay, so you learn. All right? And uh, do you know it in sequence? I know in order. That's good. So, can you please um state that for us? Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji, Guru Ram Das Ji, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, Guru Har Gobind Ji, Guru Har Rai Ji, Guru Har Krishna Ji, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Yes, Bruno? Um Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji, Guru Ram Das Ji, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, Guru uh, Har Gobind Sahib Ji, Guru Har Rai Har Ji, Ji, Guru Har Krishan Ji, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, yeah. Guru um, Grand Sahib Ji, Guru Khalsa Pant Ji. Very good. Mm -hmm. so, would you like to try? Just give it a try. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh no problem so sangha ji whenever you uh, even if you don't know it in order so when you see your friends saying that okay so i request you all to repeat after them so that we can at least memorize the name of our gurus in a sequence in a proper order that is very very important okay so uh, these two guests will be teaching the names in order to our third guest and that is how you also need to learn if you don't know it in order okay so may i please request you all to repeat it after them as she will be doing yes darling guru nanak dev ji 
गुरु नानक देव जी गुरु अंगद देव जी गुरु अंगद देव जी गुरु अमरदास जी गुरु अमरदास जी गुरु रामदास जी गुरु रामदास जी गुरु अर्जुन देव जी गुरु अर्जुन देव जी गुरु हर गोबिंद जी गुरु हर गोबिंद जी गुरु हर राय जी गुरु हर राय जी गुरु हर कृष्ण जी गुरु हर कृष्ण जी गुरु तेग बहादुर जी गुरु तेग बहादुर जी गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी गुरु खालसा पंथ जी गुरु गुरु खालसा पंथ जी ओके सो दैट्स ब्रिलियंट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन ऑल लर्न and we need to learn and it is not a very you know uh, to start learning is always a good thing and to accept that we don't know it is even better yeah because the moment you accept that i don't know it that opens the door for you to start learning okay so as she accepted that i don't know and then both of them try to teach her and now probably she'll know some some of the names but in next episode you are going to say all the names in an order promise Try. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So, uh, Sangha Ji, this is how we need to keep on learning. And then our today's question, what what we are going to discuss today is, why do we all have the name Singh and Kaur attached to us? It was because the Panj Pyare they did Amrit. Guru Ji asked, "Who will come and take my? Who can I? Whose head can I take?" Mm. And five people stood up to vaheguru ji and they said we will do it they got amrit after vaheguru ji and we got the name singh and kaur that's brilliant mm -hmm. that's brilliant do you want to add something bruno um yes um s um uh, the the name singh means lion and the name kaur means princess mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah the panch pyare's name uh baba daya singh ji Baba Tarn Singh Ji, Baba Himmat Singh Ji, Baba Mokam Singh Ji, Baba Saheb Singh Ji. Yeah, that's brilliant. So uh, she has told you, Sangat Ji, that how uh, and that day was Visakhi, right? On the day of Visakhi, Guru Gobind Singh Saheb he did the Amrit Sanchar and he turned all us normal human beings to saint soldiers. <laughs> the concept we discussed last time okay so the concept of gurdwara which was started to see the guru and then added um educational institution to it and then uh, malakhare to it okay do you remember that we discussed that last time malakhare so all that now guru gobind singh ji materialized that that concept and he gave us the name singh and core okay now um how important is this name sing and core um it's very important because it's like guruji's name too it's like we're connected to guruji exactly mm -hmm. can we can we drop sing and core for any other name um we can do it for like if you're a sikh then you can use it for your name but if you like a christian or other religion and you want to become a sikh you can also use it yeah that's that's right so whenever you are you become a sikh you need to have this name singh and kaur uh now the the point which i'm raising here is with you sangat ji that uh there are some i mean there are some conceptions that if you add your name singh or kaur it is not cool mm -hmm. there are people who think that yep. that and um shall i accept something i was the one as well <laughs> i always wanted to and um all my books published before coming into sikhi properly were kiran bart were published on that name kiran bart and it is only when i recognize that this is the singh and core is not just a name it is the identity guru gobind singh sahib gave us mm -hmm. and by this identity we become his daughters and sons and if we do not now if i if i think that okay i'll not use my father's name that means i'm saying that i'll not use my father i i don't treat the person as my father 
and if Guru Gobind Singh Ji has given me this name Singh and Kaur and I choose that okay I am not going to use this. I am going to use some more fancier name. So that means I am saying that Guru Gobind Singh Ji is not cool. Yeah. Mm. That, that's, that's what I mean that I am more intelligent than Guru Gobind Singh Sahib. Guru right? Gobind Singh Sahib is everyone's father. He's not just um, one person's father. He's exactly. everyone. Because exactly. all the Gurus like Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they made us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Bruno. Um, I got a question. Um, sometimes in England it's like that, that um, when some, a baby is born, mm -hmm. you have to have your father's uh, surname when you're a child. So basically now I have two sisters, one baby sister and one who's five. Mm -hmm. and, and they both have the surname Singh. Mm -hmm. For example, my older one, uh, my five-year-old one is called Victoria Gurleen Singh. When it should be called, and my baby one is called Jasmine Elizabeth Singh when it should be Jasmine Elizabeth Kaur. Right, okay. I'll come to this. Hanji. Also, Waheguru is the one controlling <coughs> you, and Waheguru brought you into this world, so you should also never lie to God, or you should never lie to your mum or your dad, because Waheguru is always watching you, and he can give you, like, bad things if you lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, and that's very true. Those so bad things are sins. They are sins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that's that's a very big concept. Yeah. You have just started this word, this little word called sin. It's a huge it's concept. It's a huge concept. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, so uh, let me let me first uh, deal with Bruno Singh's question, and the question is that if babies are born here in um, in United Kingdom, and they are supposed to get their father's name, right? Yes. The last name, the surname. So his sisters, though they, they need to be core, but because it is it is the matter of fact or a logistical statement that they are now given the name Singh, right? Is that your question? Yes. Now, Sangaji, that is a very, very important question. And this is how we claim back our identity. I'll tell you a story. When people started coming to the United Kingdom first, what happened that the bus drivers, you see the bus drivers yes. today, yes. they all were asked to shave and not to wear the turban. All right, earlier. And then one Singh stood up. I s I'm so sorry, I forgot the name. Mm -hmm. But, but um. definitely I'll check it out for you and then I'll tell you that name. One Singh, he stood up and he said that I am not going to do any kind of job if you are not giving me the freedom of religion, if you are saying me to um, to shave or cut my hair, shorn my hair, that means you are saying that I cannot practice my religion just because I want to be in a job. Yeah. But then I don't want to leave the job as well because that's yeah. my right. So what do he do? He started a protest, okay, in a very simple simple manner, and finally he. Um, he made the entire system realize that hair and beard are not something uh, the Sikhs wear for fashion. It is a part of their identity. Yes. Okay? And since it is a part of their identity, we cannot take that away. So I take your point, Bruno. But now what we need to do is that we need to inform the administration. We need to inform the, uh, the entire system that we have, even if my father have a name, Singh, my mother have a different name yeah. and her name is a core. Her last name is a core. I mean, I don't know about you because your mother is English. Polish. Polish. So I don't know if she has this core or not, but my mother has a name core. I, as a, as a woman, have different identity. <coughs> my guru has blessed me, my guruji has blessed me with this different identity. I do not need to rely on the patriarchal naming system mm -hmm. because this is very much patriarchal this is very much i don't know if do you understand it's patriarchy or not it's a male-led society so um kind of like you know that oh only your father matters your mother doesn't matter that's yes. why they ask for your father's name because they say that your mother doesn't matter so that is darling when uh, in the entire world wherever you go it's men who matter and women do not matter at all it is it was, uh, you know, uh, this is how the world was. 
okay but then guru gobind singh sahib he gave us our own identity core matter as much as sing matter i'm just coming to it okay core matter as much as sing matters too so we need to inform these people the administrator that when you are taking the name and you want my father's last name you need to think that the 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 daughter is going to be referred to as core and not sing because this is how their father guru gobind singh sahib wanted them to be addressed so basically um, in gurbani i'm just going to say it in english cuz i forgot how to say it in punjabi no problem it's um, it said that uh, why be bad to women when women give birth to kings mm -hmm. yes guru yes. nanak sahib uh, uh, sahib ji said that mm -hmm. yes and yep. uh, that uh, th uh, uh, that that's why we should treat women the same as men yeah but mm -hmm. now now you you are giving your answer that when they ask you what is your father's last name and not your mother's that mean that they are treating your father more equal or more important than your mother mm -hmm. when it so, should be equal. and this is a progressive society you see this is a progressive society and still the mindset is the same so we need to inform them that this is our guru who stood and who said that women need to have their own identity so i gave them from today the name core they will not be looked at or they'll not be understood as their parents or or as as the husband or anybody okay so they will have their own identity so this sing and core sangat ji is not simply names they are the identity your father my father rajbir's father everybody's father guru gobind singh sahib maharaj gave us and we need to love this name we need to take this name we need to embrace this name like we do our other names right so the problem is what we do we think that okay my name is uh, suppose amandeep singh or my name is kiran preet kaur and this is pretty long so what do we do i just cut off preet and kaur or i cut off everything and then sing and then i just keep the first name added with a surname that is caste based name mm -hmm. which should not be there right so this is this is the reason why sing and core was given to us by guru gobind singh sahib the second reason why guru ji decided to give this name sing and core is earlier people were supposed people were known by their caste okay if somebody is from higher caste they will have a different name and the moment you said your name immediately people will will judge that okay the person is coming from high class the per person is coming from so called lower class okay so that that was how people were dealt with so guru sahib said whoever is my sikh have only one name and that is singh Sing Sing and kaur so we all are equal there is no caste at all there is nothing no category at all no gender no caste also the moral of the story um that you the story that you ju just told us about um when the bus drivers had to cut or shave um the moral of the story is you shouldn't cut your hair because it's your hair like gives you power and um also if you uncut hair it's also called gaze which is a turban that you wear to pr like protect your hair yeah mm -hmm. exactly right so again that is how guru sahib gave us our own identity and that is why all the sikhs are different if you have if you just see um a crowd and you want to say that who among them is christian and who among them is hindu and who among them is muslim probably you cannot find out but the moment you see a sikh the moment you see a turban you immediately think that oh he is a sikh because that is the identity our father guru gobind singh sahib gave us so sangat ji up we all we all need to promise and you all need to promise it to me that you are not going to let go your name which our guru our our father gave us singh and core from today onwards no matter what but we will always keep this name with us singh and core we are because we are, our guru gave us this identity and that is why we are different and we need to 
we need to have this we need to uh, embrace this we need to love this identity yep sangaji it's really important to understand that this concept that we have of sing and core it's not just um, a base level name uh, there is a huge huge ideological significance behind it um, and it's important that we embrace this name it's important that we don't trade it out for surnames uh, it's important that we don't trade it out for things that provide us with more ego than we should have um, so instead of doing that we should embrace the name that our guru gave us we should embrace the name that our father gave us and you know if we say that we are the sons of guru gobind singh ji we shouldn't have a problem using that name either three of you do you promise today that you will always keep this name with you promise promise, promise? no trading out nothing my name is kiran so if i say that uh, somebody come to me and say that Wait. i don't like your name can you change that can i change my name of course not i will never change my name why and because i will say no 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 my pa my parents gave this name to me and if we cannot let go the names which our parents gave us how can we let go the name which our guru which our eternal father guru gobind singh maharaj gave us how can i let my name core go away i cannot no matter what comes for that no matter how much how much wealth name or fame can i achieve by removing this name but this name is more important to me because that is the identity my guru my father gave us to to all of us so uh, sangat ji i request you all all the kids who are watching this uh, this show i request you all to promise to yourself that you are not going to let go this name ever no matter what comes so sangat ji thank you very much for watching uh, i hope that uh, you guys have all learned something again if any of the kids have any questions if any of the kids have anything that they would like to ask us please let us know contact a call channel uh, the number is 0121551001 contact a call channel and um, let us know your questions uh, we will try and answer them to the, our best ability and if you want to come on to the show as well please let us know it's the same number um just call up and uh, we will try and arrange for you to join us on the show as well so uh, that's it any any question kids no 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 so that's it uh, sangat ji thank you for watching this show and definitely we'll be coming up with next episode um and we'll be dealing with some another idea thank you very much for watching wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh